Hi friends, as an administrator of your WordPress website, you can access everything, you can change anything that is required for your WordPress website. You can change the theme, layout, you can create pages, create users and all such things, of course. But if you want to create users, additional users for your WordPress website with certain permissions, Certain permissions means if you want to allow them to access only a certain part, let us say this website. So this is a complete full featured website. This is a backend of the fully functional website and it has multiple features. Of course, this website needs regular maintenance, regular update activity, regular blog postings. Like this website also having a feature of online learning management system, I mean online courses, so it needs regular updates on courses, regular courses are being updated. Similarly, the Google web stories are here, so the users are posting stories on this website on regular basis. But how we can control users to allow them to access certain area, only certain area of the website so that we may maintain the integrity, even the security of the website and make sure that the users may not disturb the main layout of or main functioning of the website. This is the objective of this video and you will watch in this video if you are using a perfect plugin, suitable plugin for any objective on our WordPress CMS. You are going to meet your object objective and you can do anything that you actually want for a WordPress website through the plugins. So we are going to discuss how we can control the user access on us in the certain part of a WordPress website in this video. So if you are anyhow connected to WordPress website, don't skip watching this video. And before we start, I'm going to give you a perfect solution, effective solution. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. Just subscribe this channel if you want regular updates on WordPress, new things, new plugins, new themes, and new missions and objectives, you can say. So you will get everything and we have watched hundreds of themes, plugins on this channel so you can explore other videos as well. But in this video, we are focusing how we can control user access to the certain part of the website functionality. So as I said, this is admin screen and I'm discussing a lot on this screen only. But yes, now I'm going to show you another user login of the same website. You'll feel the difference. So let us assume there is an another user on this website who can post only web stories and even post. So general regular blog post and web stories should be the permission for that particular user. I'll show you that user first. Okay, so this user is having access on the same website, but the user have only permission to publish and edit the web stories. So it is amazing solution. And you can see the admin bars are also hidden. User can only create a stories, publish a story, that's it. So whatever permission has been given, user has access on the certain parts. Rest of parts is not accessible for users. Like if user clicks on tool, it cannot do anything. And if post is permitted, since the post is permitted for this user, user can publish new post or new stories. That's it. The O stories means Google Web Stories. So, and now I'm going to show you another user login for the same website. I'm just showing you the case that you can tackle and it may be different, different permissions you may be seeking for your WordPress website, but I am sure you can meet all the objective through the solution that I'm going to show you in this video. You can actually grant the access of your website or a certain area that you actually want to share to new users. And even you can create new user permissions. So watch this video until end. Just see the beauty of the plugin, how it has been widely used. Now I am logged in with another user. 
and this user have only permission to publish courses i mean access on learn place that is on learning management system of the website again user cannot access the other part of the website it means user is limited or the permission what has been given to him or her. So this is the beauty of a plugin that I am using for controlling the user permissions. And now I am taking you to the solution how I implemented this, how we are using at our, at, at our projects and how you can also do for your users permissions or user capabilities. Coming back to the admin screen, now I am going to show you the plugin first of all that I am using. The plugin itself is called Capabilities. The plugin name is Capabilities and it is a plugin to control all the things that you may be needing for user access, I mean user permissions. This is dashboard of the plugin and the plugin is called Publish Press Capabilities. And it is a free plugin that I am using. Of course, you can have the pro version as well if you want to have additional features that is being provided through the plugin. But I am using the free one and free one is enough to control what you want. First of all, on the dashboard, we can decide what we want to keep it active. I mean, what features we want through this capabilities plugin to decide user roles. So roles can allow to create, edit, delete all users from your site. Capabilities itself is, is a necessary thing for this plugin that allows you to change the permission of any user role. This is the main thing that we are targeting. Some uh, editor features that you can allow to remove elements from the post editing screen and for the front end and the admin features you can control. And the best feature that I found in this plugin uh, in addition to capabilities, of course, the user testing, you don't need to log in from user username. I mean, your created username and password. You can simply access their user through the plugin area itself. So you can go to the users and you can access the plugin. I mean, access their login like you are logging uh, with the, their credentials so you can test their capabilities as well how they are going to access your website so it is going to give you complete idea how you are implementing implementing now coming to the capabilities so roles i have already shown you the roles uh, this is the roles and again you can create new roles as you need as you wish so I have created one additional role. By default, WordPress gives us certain roles like author, editor, and the contributor, whatever, maybe at your installation. But yes, we can create new roles by clicking on this roles button. And you can create a new role and you can give certain permission whenever you will create new role, you will come on a screen that will show you the capabilities of that particular user. Let us say, so we have selected and created, in fact, so I have created a new user called web story that I shown you and the user login I have already shown you. So the, the web story user name and this is a username in fact user capability name role name. So I have given very simple permission for posts, edit post, create post, publish and all. You can see the pages has not been permitted to the said users media. To create media has been given similarly courses not permitted to web story users i have shown you two users in fact don't get confused so this is a user permission for web stories for him courses and lesson quizzes are not allowed since it is a learning management system website and the stories are allowed just stories and its parts are allowed similarly you can decide for this particular user role what he can delete, what he can read, what taxonomy, media, the comments, the users, so everything, the admin part, the themes, uh, what actually he can do, the plugins, the publisher press itself capabilities, Forminator is additional plugin and invalid capabilities and furthermore, you can decide rest of the things from this screen. 
And in addition to this, you can also decide unique capabilities for taxonomies, unique capability for text post types, what you want to allow at a specific post types. And you can simply allow the permissions by clicking on the button that click means capability granted, blank means capability not granted, and cross means capability denied. So this is a very wonderful control. You can con select any user and you can give them permission as you need for your website. It is really very similar, very, very, of course, it is a very controlled thing that you can give. Next screen, you can change the editor features. Like if you want to change the permissions of editor, I mean, post type editor features and you don't want to allow them to add the block, you can simply cross this or move towards this. So you, you can simply handle all the permissions. I'm not going to change this because this is a live website. Okay, so, and you can similarly change the admin features of users. So admin toolbars. So if you want to change, uh, don't allow to show the access, the admin toolbar, it is going to be height hidden, simply. So it is really very, very effective one. So you can, in a single click, you can control the complete admin toolbar. And similarly, you can change the screen options and the, even the team versions can be hidden for this specific users. Great, really good tool. And the team versions, thank you for creating with WordPress. Okay, wonderful. So header options, you can control for admin the screen. Similarly, front-end features, you can control, you can hide the CSS and all. Admin menus, again, so this is a pro feature, but yes, it is available with the plugin. Profile features, what actually user can do in his or her profile. Navigation menu is another important part. If you want to ex allow the user to access the main menu the, on the live website, on the front-end of website, you can simply control the menu items even. So just in case if you want to hide the menu items, you can control the uh, things. So it, this is really a big menu. So it can be cut. Backup is another feature that has been given separately to, and it takes auto backup. All the settings gets backed up. Just in case if you made any mistake, you can restore the backup. Backup, reset roles, and the export import option is well available here. And the setting part gives you the initial setting or the capability access, the taxonomy, editor features, the profile features, and the test user features. Okay, so as I said, test user feature, I really like that. So in this way, you can control the complete scenario uh, through which the users are going to access the uh, backing part of your website, and you can make your website safe, secure, and in fact, uh, if you can make yourself worry free, because if you are sharing the admin credentials to another user, you might be always in doubt who changed the certain things and who disturbed your website might be, or what changes had been uh, has been made by which we user. It is always a puzzle. So in this solution, you are going to decide everything what actually you want to offer as access to new users. You can create any as many users type you want. You can grant permission as per your requirement, everything that you need. So I believe this is more than a best solution that you can have at your WordPress website for controlling the user capability, user access. So I believe this video remained helpful and you are going to use this solution if you are having any question regarding the settings. We are here just a click away. You can write in the comment section and you can also join the iCreate program. I believe you are already a subscriber and know about the iCreate program, how we are working for WordPress website, how you can make your WordPress website efficient and successful with the help of WordPress mentors. The iCreate program is for you. So in the next video, I'm coming with more solution, more deep dive we can take and maybe another good thing. So just keep watching. Keep building, thank you.